What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the really new and kind of cool New King James New Testament Flipback Edition. Kind of cool. Stay tuned. All right guys, before I get into the little review I have for this New Testament, this very unique flip back New Testament, I wanna remind you guys that I'm giving away a Bible for every single video that I produce. Now, I'm recording several videos in one day because my schedule's crazy, so I do a lot of recording. But I'm gonna leave a graphic in the middle of this video in some place where I'm gonna ask a question and I want you to answer it in the comment section. All right, so let's take a quick look at this little handheld New Testament that packs a big punch. You open it like that. And you can see it's just not your typical New Testament. Normally it would be like this, but you open it top and bottom like that. Now, the one thing it gives you, it gives you a much larger text size. This is a nine point font. Now what's kind of unique is it's a hardcover, uh, like a paperback, but with a hardcover, you have this paper outer, cover and you have this backing board for the front cover and the spine which kind of separates them and you can see the exposed Smithsonian spine so technically if you cut this off and you only had this it would still function the exact same so because it opens in that manner it has to open that way and it can't be attached here because it needs to be able to fold over onto itself for it to be uh, the most readable, to lay the flattest as it can lay. So if you get one of these and you, you think it's torn up, it's really not. It's designed so that it will bend in half like that. Now really quickly, this is a nine point text. It has a great New King James uh, comfort print typeface. It's really easy to read, it's great. I mean, it really is, it's, it's really kind of uh, genius the way they lay it out, uh, the, the reason I, I kind of push back a little bit with the flip back is that a New Testament in its own right is somewhat, in this day and age, kind of a novelty. And the reason I say when you start getting this small, uh, you're starting to get into territory for the, the uh, phone or the tablet. Uh, so it kind of gives you uh, some problems with regard to who's gonna use it. Uh, this would be great in, in prisons, in jails, where, where a, a device is not allowed. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but uh, coming from my experience in jail ministry and prison ministry, um, space is at a premium in that jail cell. And, uh, and you don't have devices like this. So that's where this is, is really a, a special uh, addition because you have that much better readability with that nine point text. Now, when we look at the typical Bible user, uh, someone that loves the activity of opening a Bible up and using a Bible, that left to right active reading habit is part of the experience, the enjoyment of turning the pages uh, the way that you know to turn them. And it just feels very unorthodox with this flip back edition. So I'm really on the fence because I think it's genius. It really is pretty genius. And I think that if we were in a time where we didn't have devices like, like our phones to, uh, to have you know any size text that we want, um, because when you start doing a flip back, the, the experience of reading is so unorthodox it almost kind of throws them out of the mix for this being a primary or even a secondary user. If they're just wanting to conserve space, they'll probably just go with their phone. Have military editions of the flip back. You might not have your phone with you if you're out on the battlefield or if you're uh, in, a, in a hole somewhere or, or if you're in a submarine and the space is, is really, really, really at a premium. Uh, this might be great for them. This is, is such a genius thing. I mean, it's really great, but I'm, I'm just wondering if it's gonna be successful. That's my only question. It's, I think people would kind of feel weird opening it this way and using it, flipping it bottom to top. It's just out of the ordinary. I don't know how much people are gonna use it. 
and how much people would go, okay, the price on this edition is 15 bucks. So it, I could probably get it for seven to $10, or I could spend, you know, a little bit more and get a full edition. I think that they can make some modifications and maybe double the price to 30 bucks, put a, put a latch across the front to really protect it. And you could market it to military, leave it as is, or make it a little bit cheaper and market it for the prison and jail ministries. I just don't think it's going to be for the typical uh, everyday user. Like I said, most folks will either want to have a, the experience of a Bible in front of them, either a full or even a new, new Testament, but have that traditional reading experience or they're just going to use their phone. And, and for guys like me that, that love, I love novelty stuff. I mean, really, I love it. I think they make great gifts. Uh, great additions for kids. All right, so here on the back as the flip back edition, uh, this innovative format uh, blends readability and portability. We know that European design makes it easier to hold. Okay, that's that's subjective. Easier to hold is very subjective. Uh, but the text size being a nine point font is definitely a benefit. Uh, it's a read anywhere in New Testament. That does make it easier to read. It's just unorthodox in using it. Now this does have a guaranteed for life and uh, the ISBN there and it shows the retail of $15. Now this shows it's printed in the Netherlands. So that's pretty impressive that they they use the Netherlands paper. And uh, so that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's printed and bound in the Netherlands. It is a Smith's own binding. Let me know what you think. Is this just a novelty item? Who do you think would get the most benefit out of it? You know, in what situations could it be successful? Uh, or do you think that I'm crazy? Do you think this is probably one of the best things they've done? And since I'm recording this uh, at the same day, I'm gonna post right here who the winner of our previous videos Bible is right here. So to this person, congratulations. I'm excited for you. Uh, this person right here, uh, please get in touch with me, go to my about section. You can shoot me an email and I can get you a Bible headed your way. If you're not within the continental U S you'll be asked to either pay for your own shipping, or you can donate it to someone that you know, in the U S I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got something out of it, leave me a like, and if you haven't considered subscribing, please do so and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you can be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care and God bless.